started decorating all that much yet but all I can tell you is it says let them eat cake and my walls aren't even wallpapered yet so hey guys so I'm in my pajamas I'm wearing these adorable Betsy Johnson kitty cat ones it looks like this and Colin is on FaceTime oh my gosh I cannot go to bed without using tea tree water on my face So as you guys know, I love Makeup Plus. It's like one of my favorite editing apps for Instagram. Well, Paris Hilton, as you guys know, is like one of my idols and my manager also reps her. Um, she put out some makeup looks on Makeup Plus that I use for Instagram pictures. I will show you her looks on this app. So I'm gonna choose this picture of me and on this app, it like tries to recognize your face and I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna go to themes, this arrow. Then I'm gonna go to collections and then I'm gonna go to Paris Hilton. And for her looks, there's all different. There's exotic, costume, red carpet. This is costume. Red carpet, ooh, I love red carpet. You can make it super heavy or you can make it super light. There's like an adjustable bar. I really like this one. There's exotic, there's all different makeup looks. I love this one. This one's gorgeous. This is gonna have to be my favorite look. Ugh, I love it. Paris Hilton's looks come out on February 11th on this app. If you guys don't have Makeup Plus, make sure you download it. I literally use this on a lot of my Instagram pictures. So I'm just letting you know. I'm all comfy in bed and I'm watching Shameless. I hate that I hurt you, and I want to make it right. I need to get out. I think a little. I need a drink. What's the occasion? Let me know in the comments down below if you guys love Shameless as much as I do. Uh, it's starting to feel like home a little bit in here, finally. Hey guys, so I'm all dressed up and I'm about to go Uber to pick up my friend Norma from her apartment. I don't know if you guys remember from my luxury haul, but I have a friend named Norma and she does all my hair extensions. She's literally me. She's the small blonde, like loves designer things, very like, very hyper, very energetic. Love her so much. Like, I've never met someone with such a soul sister personality. Anyways, we hit it off right away when I was here last trip, like a few weeks ago. And now we're gonna go shop on Rodeo Drive. Hey guys, this is Norma. Hey. <laughs> I was just, I just got done telling everyone how we are the same. Totally. Literally. Like same identical. height and everything. I like finally here. found someone little like me. It's little and girly. Yes, very girly. We're so girly. You guys have to see our apartment. So now we're gonna go shop our butts off on Rodeo. Yes, Bus. I can't wait. So I might end up getting this rose gold bangle. We're in Louis and OMG, they have rose gold stuff everywhere. That's it in the case. Are you getting anything from here? Um, we're gonna go to Cartier next. Yes. The ring. Let's see. Oh my god, love the love ring. Yeah. Love sister. We're gonna get the love sister ring. The love ring. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> I'm so excited with my bracelet, guys. In this lighting, you can see it's like so rose gold and pretty. Uh. So I was walking down the street <laughs> and Tia. Hi, I'm um, She came up to me and was like, oh my god, I turned around because I thought you were my friend. And I was like, oh, really? Like, Wait, we have to get her name, though. Yeah, Tara. Yeah, Tara. What's, what's her last name? 
basically she plays Pensatucky in Orange is the New Black. Yes. She thought I was her because yes, of my I voice. Totally thought this girl was her. She needs to make like some sort of business doing this as a voiceover. Is this business. how her real life voice sounds? Here in Beverly Hills, Hollywood, California, sign this girl up. Get her some voiceover. Like, I'm getting 10%. Oh, that's, so. so. that's so funny because my sisters always tell me that I sound like Pensatucky. <laughs> Like, well, it's whatever. So I'm currently in Norma's apartment, and she, upon herself, said, you know what, I just want to add more extensions to your side bang and to the sides of your head, pretty much, to frame my face. And she just always does such a good job. Like, she just did this because she felt like it. Like, this yeah. is the nicest thing ever. I'm going to give you a little spray here. <laughs> oh my god, I love my hair. Yeah, it's so pretty. Nikki's coming, I feel like, this week. Yeah. To get, like, long teal lock. Yes. Guys, look how gorgeous her apartment oh is. Oh my god, it's so messy. No, it's not. It's gorgeous. Ugh. I love it. Okay, well, I'll see you guys when I'm back at the apartment. Right now, I'm actually going to go get, like, a foot massage at this place right next door to her apartment. And then I'll catch you guys at my apartment in my bedroom and I'm gonna tell you guys the good news and yeah you better stay tuned for that. New lamp came in. It looks so cute. Hey guys sorry I'm filming this part of the vlog on my photo booth. It's just because my camera died. I was vlogging all day and I didn't want to let you guys down by not telling you the news. I like hyped you up to tell you tonight so Long story short, I'm going to come up, please. I'm going to the Dangerous Woman tour. Um, I'm not saying what show because I'm not going for a meet and greet. I'm going to be entertained and watch a show I really want to see. It looks so freaking good, like all over social media. I'm so freaking excited. Now I know I'm probably gonna get like completely hated on right now because. Uh, People either think I want to be her, or they think I hate her, or they think I'm fake. And in defense to some of my previous old tweets, uh, there was a time in like 2012, 2013, 2014, where I denied liking her because I just didn't want to be associated with her because I was trying to pursue my own career, trying to be myself. And I just felt like other people weren't letting me um, be myself because I was constantly being compared. So back in 2012, I forget what the tweet said, but somehow these these tweets appear everywhere because people still have them. I like mentioned that I met her in 2012 and that it wasn't an enjoyable experience and that she was mean. And in defense to myself, because I don't lie, but um, that was the night Jay Brooks broke up with her, the show I went to in 2012, and it was the listening sessions, and she literally canceled her sound check, cried on stage, um made us take pictures with strangers in the meet and greet even though that's not what we paid for and then when I met her she just said I need water and she gave me a hug and she looked really sad so that wasn't exactly a great experience but I didn't mean to like bash her on social media but I did that because I was frustrated with myself and I was frustrated with like all the comparisons so sorry everyone's being loud um Nikki and I have people over, so I'm just trying to get, like, my message out on here while it's really loud in there. In that defense, I wasn't really fair. When I tweeted those things, I didn't explain it was that night and all the background story to it. So, yeah. Um, and then I think I also had problems with her back then because there was, like, an article that came out that she said she hated her fans in an elevator. And that rubbed me the wrong way because I was a fan and I was, I was really mad about that. Um, but, yeah, I... I don't have a problem with her anymore. I haven't. I've been tweeting her lyrics for the past few years. Um, as you guys know, I'm always a big supporter. But it's very ignorant when people tell me I'm trying to be her. I mean, those of you who have stuck around since, like, way in the beginning, like, Zero Zero Remake Girls, know that there was a time and place where I was trying to tech not try to be her because I don't want her job. I'm, I don't want her life. But at one at one time, I really was over overly inspired by her style and that was I think summer 2015 somewhere around the time where I made my Instagram purple but at least I own up to it I admit it I was overly inspired I'm pretty sure every Arianator goes through that phase where they are like crap she's amazing I want to be just like her but I found myself 
and I'm happy with myself, and I'm a very huge fan of her music, especially the Dangerous Woman album. I mean, I was trying not to get tickets this year, just because, like, I saw her on the honeymoon tour, I saw listening sessions, I'm like, I've seen her, you know? But when I saw video clips of, like, her performances and the songs live, I was just like, I need to see this. My, and all my car rides for the past year have been the Dangerous Woman album, so... I knew it was something I should probably do, and I was in an airport. I was like, you know what? I need to get tickets. I bought tickets, and guess what? I also got meet and greet tickets, too. So that's going to be interesting. I also went ahead and got the meet and greet because I was like, why not? I'm sure people would love to see um, an updated picture of me side by side with her. Maybe then people can see we're very different. I also want another meeting her experience. Like, I want something to talk about. I want to make a great vlog for you guys. I want to make it real honest and real, whatever happens in that meet and greet. Um, maybe I'll leave the audio on on my phone or something. I just feel like this is going to make such a great vlog, and I'm going to have such a good time at the show. Um... And yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know all that. And in defense to my Ariana Grande character on the Celebrity Series, I know this past video that I did, the morning routine, Celebrity Morning Routine video, um, I got a lot of hate from the Arianator saying that what I said or what Ariana said was very disrespectful and shade. And I wasn't throwing shade. I don't write the scripts myself. Nikki and I just act whatever's on the script, like, and it's all for comedic purposes. Like we like we make Katy Perry a drunk, even though she's not a drunk in real life. We make Taylor Swift a mean girl, and she's not a mean girl in real life. Like, not that extreme. We make Ariana a little diva because that's her extreme in the show. That's what's comedic about her character. Everyone's so different in the celebrity series, and that's what makes it the celebrity series. If they were all just plain and happy and nice people, it wouldn't make it the celebrity series. So, yeah. That's pretty much it. I'm not a hater. I'm a supporter. I'm an orientator. I'm me. I'm not trying to be anyone else. And I just want to let you guys know that there's going to be a vlog, a Dangerous Woman Tour vlog, coming up very soon. All right. I love you guys.